this one was a highlight for me. I've got to say it was the most shocking and most like, wow, good job game that I saw at the whole conference. And that is uh, Resident Evil 7. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it was coming. Bio or Biohazard 7. Biohazard. Now, if, if it's in Japan, it's Biohazard <laughs> with uh, the Z kind of being the 7 and yep. then Resident Evil. And then if, in America, it's Resident Evil and then the V-I-L being the 7 and then Biohazard. Biohazard at the bottom. Uh, it's like, you, you, so, we see what you did? Okay, I get it. I get I, it. I see what you did there. Okay. Uh, I get it. Yeah, did, I get did it. you rank it? Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think uh, Capcom finally has the Resident Evil reins pulled in. This was very promising to me and um, I, as a person who tries to like Resident Evil. I, I liked all the original ones. I owned all the original ones. And then when I played, what was it, Resident Evil 5, I, I was like, fuck this, I'm not doing it. And then I accidentally bought Raccoon City, and I was like, why did I waste my money? And uh, I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. It was, uh, it's been a tough road. This actually, while it wasn't the scariest game, like out there, it wasn't like as scary as you know some of the other games that we, that I've seen before. I wasn't like super scared. I was a little bit, and I think that's that's good. I think Resident Evil's always been one of those games where it wasn't very scary after those first couple ones. Like right. people were just playing them just to play them. This is adding some of that. It's supposed to be scary, but it's a game at the same time kind of thing. I like the concept. I loved how there was uh, so many different endings in that as well. Yeah. Like different ways to beat the game. I actually beat it on accident the first time. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> I remember uh, the second time I was playing it, um, you guys, if you've played the demo, will know there's a scene where the guy walks in front of the door. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah right, right near the end. And as soon as I saw that, I booked it to the front of the house. I was like running past everything. I was like, I'm like, getting out of here. And I get there and I turn the key in. And, and then the jump scare. And I was like, oh, fuck, man. Like, that was cool. <laughs> like, they got it. They, they got it. And they, there was a lot of fun things to interact with in the environment. Very different than what we're used to seeing. Um, Y'all, what did you think of uh, Resident Evil 7? Have you got to play the demo yet? Uh, no, I've seen it. I haven't okay. played it yet. You need to get it. Okay. I will say this. Um, it, it's a good, it seems like a good horror game. Um, it, it's a lot like PT. Yes. Um, yes. <laughs> in fact, I believe the developer said this was just a teaser demo that yeah. isn't representative of the, of the final game. Right. Uh, the final game, like that, the demo has, I don't know, if nothing to do with the final game, but just that's not, it, it's. Exactly it's, how it's that is. Yeah, that is not, it's right. a lot like PT where it's just a playable teaser. Right, right, right. Um, for the final product. Um, uh, it it looks like a good horror game, but it just doesn't look like a Resident Evil game. It just yeah. looks like yeah. a horror game with the name Resident Evil attached to it. Yes, I will but, give you that. It definitely looks um, like... and it, Like PT. Yeah, it, it literally is. For me, it looks a lot like PT, and I think they definitely borrowed from that concept of, oh, let's do oh, a yeah. playable teaser, but they didn't yeah, execute hey. it quite like Kojima. Because they didn't right. make it clear that it was a playable teaser. They said Resident Evil 7. Here it is. Right, right. Like, if, if Kojima said this is Silent Hills for PT, then people would be like, wow, this is not nothing like Silent Hill at all. They'd right. be kind of pissed. But yeah. Kojima named it PT. It's called Playable Teaser. And he didn't even hint at what it was. He just said, here's a demo. Go. And people found out it was uh, Silent uh, Hills. So yeah. they, they could have executed that better. Um, right. But, and again, it's, it, it looks like an impressive horror game. And it... It looks like Capcom is finally beginning to understand that, uh, you know, people want horror in a Resident Evil game and not yeah. just shooting zombies. Shoot, you know, yes. Not Days yeah. Gone, basically. Uh, they want, and it's in first person, which I don't know if the... Uh, the that's the never game. been a thing. Uh, right, that's what I'm saying. I don't, know if the, if, <clears throat> I don't know if Resident Evil 7 will actually be in first person or if, like Yong said, this is just for the... the the teaser demo, yeah. but if it's in first person, I don't think I would be upset. I like the idea of it, and I don't. I, I think Resident Evil needs to do something a little different. Maybe yeah. it's maybe it's going into this first person, adding a, a decent shooting mechanic. I like the inventory management, which Young, when you get the demo, you'll see it's you got like a proper inventory management system as opposed to you know some of the 
other Resident Evil games that kind of got away from that. Mm-hmm. Uh, you've got like limited <laughs> Ronin. <laughs> you've got limited space for like items you pick up, and each item has a specific use in the actual like level that you get to, to get to play in. So <clears throat> I like the idea and the concept. I don't know. It, I, it's yeah, no. too early to, to be a hundred percent sure. Right. But yeah. if that's the direction, I'm cool with that. How about you? Did you? I'm, I'm impressed. Did you like, as in, if it were a new IP, I'd be impressed. But mm-hmm. as a Resident Evil fan, uh, it just isn't Resident Evil for me. Um, okay. But I'm not. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm not discounting it. I'm not saying it won't be good. I'm not saying it doesn't have potential because it does. Because at the very least, it's not Resident Evil Six. You know. <laughs> <laughs> It's not like an, a Michael Bay version of Resident Evil. There was Evil. no explosions. Yeah, at the- least, <laughs> at least it's horror yeah. in its purest form. Uh, and Resident Evil used to be that. You know, it used to be yeah. horror um, with with some uh, sprinkles of action uh, elements right. here and there. Right. Uh, so I like that they're reeling it back in. I feel like they they're finally starting to understand what people want from a Resident Evil game. Uh, it's just I have to wait and see what this new direction yields yeah, because right. so far it feels like another game with the Resident Evil name attached to it, but maybe maybe it's maybe they need to try you know something be different. Cool at this is point. if like some of the horror parts were first person and then like your action you could go to third person if I, you wanted. I heard that Resident Evil Seven will be playable both with regular controllers and VR. Yes. Okay. So maybe they're trying to like appeal to that VR market that's out there right now that's very new and, and up for the grabs. Right. So uh, I think maybe it's first person if you play it in VR and then third person if you play it with a regular controller. Because, again, the, the teaser, it was just a, te- a playable teaser that isn't right. going to be in the final game. So uh, a lot of things could change uh, in terms of what the final product is. It could be very different from the teaser or it could implement certain elements from that. Cool. Uh, but looks very intriguing, and it looks... It, it's the most... Compelling. I've seen a Resident Evil game be in a while. I'll say that. <laughs> a while, a while. Yeah. Uh, Ronan, your turn. What did you think of it? Have you played the demo first? Everyone knows that I, I'm very vocal when it comes to Resident Evil. Yeah. As of late. <laughs> so when they showed this, and first of all, I agree with Yong with the old idea of them not really selling the whole PTS idea with this by, by you know, straight up naming the game Resident Evil. And when you yeah. download the game on PS4, the icon there, it just says Resident Evil Beginning Hour. If they yep. had taken the Resident Evil, t- Resident Evil tag off of that and just called it the Beginning, beginning hour, hour, that would have been fine. would have yep. made a lot more sense. Um, <clears throat> but no, having played that as well, I played it a few times to check out the different endings and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I will say that I was genuinely like, creeped out by the environment yeah. and the setting that it was in. And I thought that was a positive sign for what they were going in the, for this direction of this new game. Obviously, we know this part is not going to be in the game, but you get an idea of what they're trying to shoot for. Mm. Um, they confirmed that the entire game will be playable in VR. So the first person thing makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Um, combat itself has not been confirmed whether or not you'll be doing any combat in the game. Although, looking at the pre-order bonuses they have for it, it says like something like a survival pack, which might have weapons of some sort in it. We don't really know for sure. Okay. <clears throat> But uh, I don't know. When it's it comes Resident to, Evil, there's got to be something, right? When it, Doesn't it, when it have to have some kind it's of It's a survival kit. It's, Maybe, hmm. yeah. It's, it's really weird. But it, when it comes to Capcom, I, I have gained an extraordinary amount of, uh, of skepticism when it comes to their <laughs> games and their ideas. And I can say that I like what they're doing with this, but I will have to wait and see with the final product. And I, I will say that I got a lot of PT vibes from this. It wasn't quite as crazy as PT was. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure there was, there was news that came out before E3 that said that one of the former developers of PT got put on, on uh, Resident Evil. That makes okay. sense. To Resident Evil. Yeah. So that, that might explain what this is doing and why it's doing what it is. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so I, I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic about this because I want it to be good. I want to see Resident Evil take a new direction. And I feel like... Capcom didn't know where to take Resident Evil for a long time, which yeah. is what resulted in all those terrible, not scary, not survival, less shooters, action-filled yeah. shooters. So hopefully they're getting back to figuring out what Resident Evil is 
and perhaps that'll show Definitely. in this new game. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't steer away too much from the original. Yeah. You know, because if you're going to call something Resident Evil, it, at its core, it needs to have Resident Evil. Yeah. It, it needs exactly. to feel like Resident Evil. Exactly. Uh, like like the new Zelda, for example, it, it's taken a completely different direction, but it still feels like Zelda. So I hope we right. take a similar approach where it still feels like Resident Evil, but maybe the, they're, they're going to try something new, something different yeah. to, to uh, revitalize the series, which it needs, because yeah. right now it's in a pretty dire state, so... Yeah, we'll see. I would I would say it definitely is bringing that survival horror to the forefront. Like it has that system. If you've played those old survival horror games where you would find items that you don't really know what they're for, it right. had that. Even in this small location, there's still items that like I've picked up that I don't really know where they go or what they're for yet. And so I'm able to. I've played this um, beginning hour probably four or five times, and I haven't used all of the different items yet. Like there's still I've got like a uh, thing in the kitchen that I still haven't figured out where the key yeah, is. Yeah, there's there's some of that. There's like the, the key thing, the axe that's, as that's, well. You find an axe at some point. I haven't found an axe at all yet. Yeah. I found a finger, which I don't know where it goes. Some like, people said that you can melt that finger down for something. I don't know. It's something... There's like a lot of weird little yeah, so, things in that demo that you can take a look at and find. Which is something I like. Like I, I love that about the old Resident Evil games is, you know, finding this item and like where does this go? Where should I put this? Um, that kind of thing and just interacting with objects and seeing, okay, yeah. does that go in there? No, it doesn't. Okay. I uh, need to get, you know, I need to find the circuits for the circuit breaker kind of thing. I like did that. You, did you play through it a second time after you finished it the first time to see like the little things in the videotape you watch? I didn't notice anything different. Go back if you saw that. If you God saw damn. that save, go back and play through and watch and watch that video yeah. again and see if you can see. I'm not uh, the I differences in that. I haven't uninstalled it, so I'm gonna. I'll definitely go back and play it. Um, probably when we're done, because now that I'm talking about, it, I want to play. Yeah, uh, I don't want to spoil what it is. Though. I just want you <laughs> okay, to good. see it for yourself. <laughs> don't.